there everybody, this is Peril, and I just want to show you guys something I've been working on uh, in spare time. This is a modding framework for uh, the pretty popular at the moment uh, Duck game. And I really like this game, it's <laughs> it's probably one of the best games that have come out of this, uh, the, the Ouya system. Uh, um, my only gripe with it is the lack of mod support. And uh, things like uh, not being able to have uh, custom maps online and stuff like that that I felt was a, a big letdown of, of this game and I don't know if they plan to ever patch that in but um, even if they don't uh, guess what I'm gonna patch it in my friend Slender we are working on this together and uh, I'll show you what we got so far um, I don't know it, those of you who may have looked at the files for this game it is an XNA framework game, so it is written in uh, a .NET language, which made it, and it's not obfuscated or signed or anything, so that made it rel relatively easy to uh, decompile uh, and add our own changes into it, and uh, basically make a binary patch that we can distribute to patch the executable for everyone else to uh, support mods. So this right now is the earliest infancy of the mod format. Uh, where it, uh, it'll, I'll show you the, the intricacies in a little bit. But right now I'll just show you one quick modification I have made. Show you that, uh, indeed the mod, the game has been modified. So I'm not, uh, let's, let's add some space. Need a controller, so bear with me. And I'll show you, one of the first things I've done um, is added a custom gun. I've called it the Red AK-47, because <laughs> I'm very clever. But uh, basically, the reason that it's so lame is because I wanted to test a custom uh, custom guns. So that's the first thing that, that was implemented. Uh, B, custom images, uh, custom content uh, managers, and C, custom sounds. So... As you can see, the, the, the oh yeah, I should probably actually show you the regular AK, just show you that I haven't edited anything, so let's see. Here's the regular AK. At the moment, by the way, you cannot edit existing content, you can only add new stuff. So keep that in mind. But see, this is the regular AK. Uh, it still works, I didn't, I didn't edit that. And here's my special red AK. I have uh, very easily, quickly, it's like, like the first official, uh, official, this is the first mod quote unquote that I've made for this game uh, with the framework is uh, just a custom gun that uh, has the ammo type as a missile instead of the uh, the bullets so it's it's nothing special but it's just kind of to show you that uh, indeed uh, custom content is possible I've also made a couple little other things before this but uh, they aren't worth showing so that's that's that and uh, yeah but now Let's switch the capture here, and I'll show you here, I've got the uh, game files loaded up here, there's a lot of extra stuff, that's just stuff I've added for testing and whatnot. Um, originally I did a DLL hook, but that didn't end up working for a couple of reasons, so the, the patch method is pretty much the way I have to do this, uh, because of some intricacies with the way the internals are with Duck Game. So, the new folder here where mods will be, which is what the game loads from, is called mods. It's easy to remember. And inside mods, uh, these three files here will be distributed with the with uh, the front end that we're making. Basically, all, it decompiles the single file XNB uh, containers that they have, which are images and sounds uh, encrypted into these XNB. Well, not encrypted, but they're encoded, I guess would be the better word, into the XNB files. So this will decompile them. At the moment, these batch files are just basically decompile all and compile all. Um, and there's the utility, which the source code will be available as well. So, I'll show you here. This is the. These two are generated at runtime, but basically, I've got the redak.cs. Let me uh, capture the window here so I can show you. Sorry, I'm using streaming software for this, so it's not the best. All right, so this is uh, a mod, basically. So, as, as I said, this is just a, a carbon copy of the AK-47 gun. 
um, with a couple changed things like that. Change I set a custom editor name to make sure that worked. I put it in a different editor group, uh, and I gave it the AT missile ammo type. And there's as you can see here, this is how you would load uh, mod uh, content from your mods. This would allow you to load from other mod directories in theory, and fire sounds as well. Uh, I had to handle sounds separately because of the sound system the way it works. So yeah, as you can see, that's how you would create a custom thing for the editor. And what it does is, uh, when it loads the game, it finds .cs files and compiles them into .dlls, and then those .dlls are then loaded into um, the app domain of a uh, .game itself. Sorry. Uh, the, the, the DLs are loaded into Duck Game, and of course the way Duck Game finds uh, custom things is via reflection. So it was pretty easy to, to modify it, so that worked. And as you can see, this is a custom content folder. Um, where I've got, this is the image that I've done, and this is the, the, the sniper sound, but I just renamed it to make sure that that worked. So I'll show you just a quick here, if I decompile all, ran. You'll see there's the PNG that was output from the XNB and uh, the .wave from the Red AK. There. And uh, the compile all does the opposite, where it'll take the .png and .waves and compile them back into XNB. Uh, the formats are one to one, so if you decompile everything and compile everything again, they'd be binary matches, of course, uh, without modification. I mean. So uh, yeah, that's. I mean, that's pretty much it for the time being. Uh, there's a lot. I commend the developers because it actually seems like they intended to put mod support in the game to begin with. But uh, either it was dropped or they didn't have time or, you know, whatever. And as a result, the um, the code is actually extremely, extremely genericized to the point where uh, you, you just add a new class and that class is like, load it into the game and it just works, you know, it's, it's really cool. So, by that token, we'll be able to have custom game modes, uh, custom, custom tile sets, custom uh, weapons and items and things like that, custom particle effects, custom networking uh, stuff. So it, it's really cool the way they, they set this up. Now the one issue that you'll probably be asking is, what about maps? And that's something that uh, we're going to be working on. We want to make sure that that works before the first version of this. Uh, we will be adding custom map support to multiplayer. Um, and probably more customizability for the way the maps are loaded and the, like, the options for, for map loading so that you can load custom, either like load custom only or, you know, stuff like that. And even with a custom game mode, we might be able to specify which maps are played and things like that. And I noticed, like, even Capture the Flag is, like, a listed game mode, but I don't remember ever being able to play it, so. Sure. So, this is, uh, again, this is all preliminary. Um, we'll keep you guys updated to see what, what goes on. But uh, it's looking good so far, and, uh, yeah. Um, see you later.